I hope you're having an amazing January, as amazing as Januarys get. It's always kind of the hardest month of the year, I personally find. I wanted to talk all about my winter skincare routine because January is such a strange month for skin. Um, especially for me, I find like my skin goes very dry and a bit dull and just loses that glow that you naturally have throughout the summer. So I have found a few products that are really helping with that just to brighten the skin. So I'm just going to whiz through these basically. To cleanse my skin, um, I would use in the evening to remove makeup the Caudalie Cleansing Oil. This is brilliant at just melting away your makeup, especially your mascara. It's absolutely brilliant. So I use that purely to take off my makeup. And then to really clean my skin, I use the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This has been my favorite cleanser on and off for a good few years. It's the first product that I actually discovered from the brand. Um, I was shopping with my mum along Marlebone High Street in London, popped into the shop because I thought, oh, this sounds nice, fresh, it must be all like natural and lovely, and immediately was re recommended the Soy Face Cleanser. So it's the one product that I bought, and it's the product that I just keep going back to. So I use that to clean my skin, and then I use this twice in the morning, like a double cleanse as well. So that's evening and night. And then to really kind of deeply exfoliate my skin. I don't use this every single night, but I'd say every two days after I've used the Caudalie and the Fresh cleansers, only in the evening, I use a muslin cloth to apply the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. It's basically like an exfoliating tonic. And what you do is you just get your muslin cloth, place it on the top, pump it down about two times, I suppose, and just gently exfoliate that over your skin. And it is just a tonic. So it's not abrasive, but I just feel like it really deeply cleans your pores. So that is lovely to use. Your skin feels so clean afterwards. And uh, in the evening, especially after you've been out and about all day, it's brilliant. Then for eye cream, morning and night, I use the Pi, what eye cream is this? Gentle eye cream. And it is exactly that. It's a very gentle eye cream, which I love. It's not going to do any anything spectacular to your eyes. If you're looking for a super anti-aging one or a really brightening, awakening one, this one probably isn't for you, but for me personally, I just like something really gentle around the skin, around my eyes, and this one is perfect at that. So I would use that every morning and every evening after I have done these steps. Then on to serums. Now I only use this actually in the morning. So after I've applied my eye cream, I then move on to the Fresh Peony Instant Brightening Face Cream. And like I said at the beginning about how January, or just the winter months in general to be honest, can just make your skin look so dull. And it's purely because in, the, in England anyway, we don't have the gorgeous sunshine that we have sometimes in the summer and the spring. I mean, even that is a little bit debatable. Um, but I just feel like in the winter months especially, I need the brightening products. And this one does just that. It also says it is a skin tone and texture corrector, which I do agree with. I've definitely noticed a difference since I've been using this. And it's a lovely creamy consistency. Uh, it soaks in beautifully absorbs into your skin. So that's a lovely serum to start with. And then I also love using the moisturiser that is part of the same collection. So again, it's the Brightening Moisture Face Cream and it says it evens skin's tone and protects against environmental aggressors. So that's perfect for morning to apply as a moisturiser and it's a great canvas for your makeup. However, I do sometimes use the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense as a moisturizer. This one is more when I feel like I need extra protection. It's just brilliant at protecting against environmental polluters, blue lights, those kind of things. So it depends what mood I'm in. If I want to use Complexion Rescue Defense or more of a brightening moisturizer, depends how my skin is looking to be honest. So yeah, I split, split my morning moisturizers between those two. And then for evenings, this is the product that I think has transformed my skin recently, the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Now, I am sure you've heard about this product from literally every single beauty blogger out there. I'd been hearing about it loads and I actually tried it a couple of years ago and I didn't quite get on with it. I think I used it for about a week and I thought, you know what, I don't know what the fuss is about, I'm going to go back to my usual products and I kind of forgot about it. Anyway, they brought out a new formula recently 
and it's now called the glycolic acid treatment and I believe it was something to do with regulations had changed in the EU something like that so they had to reformulate anyway I was sent this and I thought I'm gonna give this a go again started using it about a month ago and wow it has like transformed my skin i don't know what has happened to my skin but i basically came up in all these kind of tiny bumps all over my skin especially my forehead but then around here and i was just like i i don't feel like this is my skin i don't know what is going on um and i'd had a couple of facials and i'd ask the people you know do you have any recommendations do you know what it could be and people had recommended good genes so it just kind of happened that i was sent it and i thought okay do you know what i need to give this a go and it's just made my skin brighter, clearer. I mean, I still get a couple of problems around here, but it's unbelievable how much this has changed my skin. So I would definitely recommend that. I don't use that every night. I'd use this probably three or four times a week and only in the evening after I've applied my eye cream. So in the evening, it's literally about cleansing, sometimes using the Ren Tonic eye cream, stay, and then good jeans. And if I'm not using good jeans in the evening, I will use the same moisturiser, the brightening moisturiser. Now for something a little bit more luxury, this is for exfoliating and it's the best exfoliator that I've ever used and I just have to tell you about it. It's by a brand called Seed to Skin and I love their whole ethos. Um, I believe they started from a beautiful hotel in Florence, in Italy, and they grow their own herbs and plants and that's where their skincare line was born. They use these natural plants that they grow on site to create skincare. And this one is called The Radiance. And I've actually had a facial using these products before and that's when I first discovered them. And I was like, I need to try this one because it's it's more of an abrasive exfoliant compared to, say, a tonic, but it's so fine, the grain is so fine that you really feel like it is getting in there and it's just doing something and afterwards your skin just feels so smooth and radiant, um, which I suppose is why it's called the Radiance. And it says it is microdermabrasion glow treatment. So I just absolutely love that. I probably only use this once a week, to be honest, and you only need a tiny amount. It really goes a long way, so I've been loving that, and I just think the packaging is beautiful as well. And that is literally my skincare routine um, since probably the beginning of December, and I've really noticed a difference in my skincare. As you can see, there's a similarity between all of the products in that I always try to use natural products. I love brands that use natural ingredients because I think it's just as important to nourish your skin on the outside as it is to nourish your body from the inside. And as you know, I'm all about eating as healthy as you can like obviously a balanced diet is key but it's all about using and eating natural ingredients so that's why i'm all for natural products as well and these ones are actually working that's the difference you know these products i found really work for my skin and they use brilliant ingredients a big thing for skin this time of the year as well is of course drinking as much water as you can so keeping hydrated naturally in the winter we don't feel the need to drink as much water as we do in the summer. In the summer, you're hot, you're dehydrated, you're constantly drinking, and that's partly why you have this gorgeous glow, because you're so hydrated. I definitely feel like I drink more water in the summer, whereas in the winter, it's hard to remember to drink just the same amount of water. So just being conscious of that, trying to drink glasses of water throughout the day, just sipping them slowly rather than like glugging loads down at once, and um, that really, really helps as well. And eating a healthy, balanced whole food diet of course I eat a plant-based diet I feel like that generally really does help my skin obviously I have been having some problems I've been plant-based now for nearly six years and my skin has improved hugely since then it's only recently that I've been getting these tiny bumps so I need to figure that one out it might be that I have a slight intolerance to something um, it might be a common ingredient in some skincare who knows but um, at the moment I do feel like this routine here has been really really helping to improve that but yeah eating a balanced diet can massively help your skin especially healthy fats so avocados olive oils walnuts are great St things that are just really high in essential fatty acids are brilliant for your skin so yeah i really hope you have enjoyed um watching this video all about winter skincare hopefully it'll give you a few ideas for your own skincare if you're looking to mix it up a little bit thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon in the next video bye